Now to tonight's special report. And as summer temperatures have smashed records across the country, the heat has been turned up on some of Australia's native animals. Many have simply not been able to handle the scorching conditions. We already know about the hundreds of thousands of fish that have died in the Darling River, but it's more widespread. A third of an entire colony of flying fox in a Victorian town has been killed in extreme heat. Wild horses have died of thirst near Alice Springs and there are warnings that koala populations may be unable to recover after bushfires and 40 degree temperatures in Queensland. Rainforests have long been a refuge for native animals, but is all that changing? Ben Deacon travelled to the World Heritage listed wet tropics in far north Queensland to investigate. The forests of far north Queensland are one of Australia's natural treasures. Drenched by rain, this World Heritage Area has one of the most stable climates in the country. The monsoon may have now arrived, but late last year an extreme heat wave revealed the vulnerability of wildlife here. In the blazing heat, hundreds of these flying foxes have perished. There's extreme heat wave conditions uh, being observed. What killed them? A week when Queensland's far north was hit by the hottest temperatures since records began. Now it's dinner time. <laughs> with thousands dead and they were just littered the ground everywhere they were all up in the trees um, every every level of the of the um, canopy you could see just dead bats as far as you can see in the end 23,000 spectacled flying foxes died out of a total population of 75,000 we know that this species is already in decline to imagine that you would lose that volume of what's left in such a short period of time you, never that expert, Dr Justin Wellbergen, says the danger to the spectacled flying foxes was so severe that it provoked an unprecedented jump in the recommended conservation status. The species now fulfilled the criteria for being upgraded directly to critically endangered. Dr Wellbergen has used technology such as thermal cameras to identify the precise threshold between life and death for flying foxes. Almost all flying fox die-off events occur above 42 degrees. But the mass deaths aren't just in the tropics. Flying foxes also perished in huge numbers during heat waves across the country last week, in Adelaide, Melbourne and the Victorian towns of Bairnsdale and Mafra. Given that extreme heat events are expected to increase both in frequency and intensity, this doesn't bode well at all for those species. Other animals have fared even worse. Scientists voiced concern years ago that the white lemuroid possum could become Australia's first mammal to become extinct because of global warming. It survived so far, but the Cairns heat wave has raised fresh fears. Scared the pants off me basically, where it got up to 39 degrees, and that's just off the charts. Biologist Steve Williams is an expert in tropical wildlife and is back in the rainforest looking for the vulnerable possums. His research shows they may be just one heat wave away from extinction. We're talking animals that die when it gets above 28, 29 degrees. So 39 is just lethal. After a previous heat wave in 2005, the white lemuroid possum wasn't seen in Mount Lewis for seven years. They haven't evolved mechanisms to cool their body down. They don't sweat, they don't pant, they don't have a way to keep cool. And they've never had to. We've systematically seen species disappear from the low elevations and getting pushed further up the mountain. As animals in the wet tropics move to higher ground, these cloud forests are literally the end of the line. But for creatures who call this place home, there's nowhere else to go. The heat is becoming more difficult to escape right across the country. The Bureau of Meteorology says January was the hottest month since records began. And as temperatures hit new heights, Justin Wellbergen is worried other native wildlife are suffering too, but may be less visible. If you think about a koala or a possum or, or some, an, another animal that, with a more sort of solitary, cryptic lifestyle, who is going to be there you know, to see a koala fall dead from a tree during an extreme heat event? Whether they're seeing it directly or not, scientists are worried about the future for some of Australia's unique animals. Ben Deacon, ABC News, Mount Lewis, Queensland.